So if we want to measure distances in astronomy, one can imagine using how big something appears to figure out its distance. Because we know from our life experience that the further away an object is, the smaller it appears in size. Now, so for example, if we're looking at a tree uh, with our eye, and it appears big, it's because the angle it subtends to our eye. So here we are with our eye, and we're looking at this thing. A tree that's nearby has a big angle. So let's measure its distance here, and we'll call that angle theta. And so how big the object uh, appears depends on its distance and how tall the tree is, so its height. Now, to make this a tractable problem for trigonometry, we like working in right angles. So if we make that a right angle, that is half the tree now. And we know that, for example, the tangent of the, of the angle theta is equal to the opposite, the opposite over the adjacent. Or in this case, that would be h over 2 divided by the distance, noting that in this case, I've had to make theta over 2 be the main angle, so that's theta over 2. So the tangent of the angle divided by 2 is equal to h over 2 divided by the distance. Now that's very messy, but in astronomy, things are so far away that the angles are very small. And so we can do something known as the small angle approximation. And the small angle approximation says that tangent of theta is approximately equal to theta if theta is measured in radians. Now, a radian, remember, is like a degree, it's just slightly different measure. And so a circle, for example, has two pi radians. And, and that is you know, the equivalent to 360 degrees. And so it turns out that one degree is equal to 1 57th of a radian, or it's about 0.0174 radians. So the small angle approximation allows us to simplify our equation here for measuring the height of the tree. Because in this case, rather than tan of theta of 2, I can write that of theta over 2. And that is equal to h over 2 divided by d. Or simplifying, I can say that d is equal to h over theta. Now, that tells you that the size of the object, well, so the distance of the object is inversely proportional to its angular size, how big it appears. So sometimes we don't necessarily know how big the tree is, but imagine I see a tree and I walk a distance further away from it such that it appears twice as small. So we can use ratios to go through and calculate what that means in this case. So for example, if I have, I want to know the ratio of the distances, d1 over d2, then that is equal to h1 over theta1. So that's how high the tree is in the first observation divided how big it appears in the first observation divided by how high the tree is in the second observation, divided by how big the tree appears in the second observation. And that can be simplified to h1 over h2, divided by theta2 over theta1. Now, the tree hasn't changed in size, so h1 over h2 is just 1. And so we see that the ratio of the distance is equal to is is equal to the inverse relationship of the apparent size. In other words, if I am twice as far away from a tree, it will appear half as big. 
So let's go out and try this in earnest in a real-life situation.